associated that comes with SPSS and allows you to check out any single any command in SPSS. So if I wanted to know more about MANOVA, well, I could just type that into the uh, search, and I can start getting um, information on MANOVA. So this is the table of contents. But if I keep going through, I'll end up getting um, information relevant to the MANOVA and all the various options that you can choose um, through this um, this function in SPSS. Anyway, it looks really detailed and cumbersome to read, and in some sense it is. But it's also very useful if you get stuck somewhere and you want to learn more about syntax. It's not all just boring commands. There all, there's also some explanation about what's going on for each one. And there, there are examples given for, for every analysis. Like here's the men over here syntax for a slightly different analysis. Uh, so that's very useful to get the, uh, the syntax command guide. It's enormous and it's, um, it's got everything that SPSS can do in there. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about syntax and how it's useful is related to creating compute statements and often when you're scoring inventories like a survey that you're going to reuse more than once uh, or you're waiting for data to come in, so you don't want to waste time, so you build your syntax file first. Uh, when you transform, you, if you need to recode negatively keyed items, you can recode into the same or di into different variables, but you can save that. Uh, option. So there's a paste over here. So you build up your recodes, uh, what needs to be done. So 1 turns into a 5, 2 into a 4, 3 into 3, etc. And you save all that and paste it in the syntax to be done on the items that you want. And the same thing goes for transform and compute. Let's say I wanted to create a verbal total scale. And it was created out of verbal 1, verbal 2, and verbal 3. Yes, you can do this through the calculator, but you can also do it through syntax. And it's often, sometimes it's faster to do it through the calculator because you can actually look at your, the names of your variables, which you not, might not memorize. Uh, but once you've done it once, you probably want to save that so that you can redo the same uh, compute statements on future data sets, which are actually the same type of data. Uh, now this is an easy example where it's only three, but sometimes you might have 20 items in a scale, and you can't remember which items they are because it's something like 1, 7, 6, 14, etc. It's best just to save that as a syntax file and run it on the data set. And I can run this right now. I'll run that selection, and that creates a new variable for me called verbal total. And now, in future data sets, I can just run the same syntax on those other data sets uh, to make it very efficient. So those are some of the most important features, advan advantages associated with SPSS syntax. If some people have some of their own uh, great uh, examples that they use in SPSS syntax, either for efficiency or functions in SPSS that they find themselves using, through syntax because it's not available through the GUI, please leave a comment. I'd be interested to know what you're using it for. I hope you found this video useful, and um, thanks for watching.